From smartphones to doorbell cameras to baby monitors, we have smartphone devices, smartphone, smart devices everywhere. And while they add convenience, they can also serve as gateways for hackers to latch on and track your moves. Five News reporter Katherine Gilker tells us how hackers can get into your devices and the best way you can protect yourself and your family. How easy is it for hackers to get into your smart devices like cell phones and doorbells? The FBI says it all depends on the user and the level of security they have on their devices. We recommend things like long passphrases, multi-factor authentication on your devices and on your home network. And if you use those techniques, it's actually pretty difficult for somebody to get on your devices. Jason Van Gore is the assistant special agent in charge for national security for the FBI. He says he personally uses a lot of the smart devices and people shouldn't be weary of using them if they are properly secured. He says instead of a password, use a passphrase that's 18 to 20 characters. And he says turning on the multi-factor or two-factor authentication is very important. Because then even if someone get, does get your password, they still can't get into your device, into your camera, into your phone, because there's that second factor, that text message that you're going to get with a four-digit code. That's what's going to keep somebody from getting into your device. Also beware of phishing scams that will either send you an email or text message with a link to click. Clicking that link could give hackers access to everything on your phone. Van Gore says when downloading apps, make sure it's a trustworthy app by looking at the number of downloads and the number of reviews. Some smart devices come with default passwords that hackers can look up online, making it easy for them to get into your devices. There have been instances where hackers have been able to get into baby monitors similar to this one and watch babies sleep or just to see if anyone is home. Dale Robert Thompson is an associate professor of computer science and science engineering at the University of Arkansas. He says some devices have had vulnerabilities allowing hackers to connect to them and either retrieve the password or reset the password. Although the smart device uh, vendors have been getting a lot better about not having a default password for everything. You notice on the back of some of them they have actually a password that is individualized to that actual device. Or they have the apps that you control these things with that force you to change the default password. He says not only your passphrase is a good idea, but having different ones for each device. And don't use your name, any part of your address or phone number. He says to also look out for updates you can make to your device that can make them more secure. He thinks security on smart devices will get better to a degree. Some people who like to have these gadgets around, they're also the price point is real important to people who make these devices. So there's always this trade-off of how much security do you want to pay for and how much are people willing to pay for. And, you know, some people that sell it maybe are less uh, likely or worried about your security. Covering news where you live, Katherine Gilker, 5 News. The FBI says if you think any of your smart devices or computers have been hacked, to call your local FBI field office immediately. New attempt.